All right, everyone. Welcome to Something in the Wild, episode 21. As you can see, this is a little bit different setting than you than you might be used to. I'm out here um, smoking some meat, and um, well, we're gonna grill and then we're gonna smoke it. So I have these two quote unquote roasts. I don't know what I was thinking whenever I was labeling them, but. Um, Essentially, they're like flat. They might be like flank steaks or something like that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw them on the Blackstone. And then to finish them off, I'm going to sit them in a cast iron skillet, throw them on this, the uh, smoker for yeah, probably like 10 minutes or so. Kind of like you would with a real ste like a regular steak. Um, sear it on both sides. Throw it in the oven for you know 10 minutes on like 350 or whatever. That's what I'm going to do here just outside and I'm going to do it while I'm talking to you guys. So yeah, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, today we're going to talk about a couple things. Um, probably the main thing that I want to talk about is cooking meat and where we're at with our elk supply. Um, and we'll talk about that first and then we'll go into um, this past weekend and what you guys can expect from me moving forward and then we're going to get into some fish talk because we I went out fishing a couple weekends ago wasn't able to share any of the details um, but we had a pretty successful trip so I'm going to get right into it here and to start us off I'm going to throw these steaks on the grill and I don't know if you can hear them or not they're pretty quiet not super heavy of a sizzle but um, I got some butter also in this pan. So once those are done, I'm going to give them a couple minutes. Set my watch real quick. Um, so once those are done, I'm going to go ahead and throw them back in that cast iron pan. So we'll go, we'll go three minutes for now because that, that grill is running pretty hot. Um, so yeah, I want to talk about a little bit about this weekend and our elk supply and, and cooking. Uh, so, so this is like Sammy and I, one of our preferred methods of cooking roasts. And I'm telling you right now, if you want to cook a hunk of meat one way for the rest of your life, whether it be a steak, um, you know, a roast, uh, some sort of loin, whatever, this is the way to do it. You, so you start off, take the meat out let it sit till it's about room temperature, maybe like 30 minutes or so out of the fridge. Next thing you want to do is you want to coat that thing, salt, s salt, pepper, garlic powder, just absolutely coat it, olive oil, coat that thing, you know, until it's completely covered. Um, and then what you're going to do, depending on if you have a, if you just have a pan, if you have a cast iron skillet, you got a blackstone, whatever, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to heat that pan, that heating element up, um, probably like medium or so heat, I would say, and throw that thing on there, sear it on all sides. And if it's like a oblong piece of meat, you want to make sure you get all sides. Make sure you develop that nice coating on the outside. Probably like four minutes or so on each side. That's what I usually do. I'm doing three just because this grill is really hot right now. I've had it on for a few minutes. Um, so three, four minutes on each side, and then once you're done with that, pull it off the heat and put it in a preheated oven. Now, you want that oven to be around like 375 or so. That's usually what I keep it at. Um, and then once the, yeah, once you take it off, throw it in the oven, let that sit for five to ten minutes or so, or until it reaches an internal temp of like 120, 120 to 125, after that, pull it out the oven um, and let it sit for about, I don't know, five, eight minutes and then slice real, real thin. You know, I'm talking like quarter inch or less slices and oh my gosh, it is perfectly done. Perfect medium, nice and tender, just, um, just an all around great way to prepare some food. Now, going into our elk supply, <laughs> this is, this is where it gets depressing a little bit, um, I, I was I was talking to my one buddy today, and he asked me, he was like, hey, how many pounds of elk meat did you get off of that elk by chance? And I was like thinking, I, we didn't, we never really took an exact weight, but I'm thinking it had to be right around like the, 
225 to 275 mark, somewhere in between there. I mean, I, it was a pretty big elk. It was a big six point. Um, you know, gave us a, a lot of meat, and that's also including the grind, which we also added like 20 or so pounds of um, pork fat, or 10 or 20 pounds of pork fat, or whatever. Um, also, time's up. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Restart, three minutes. Yeah, that looks real good, real, real good. Um, and as that, my smoker's heating up. It's about 150 right now. It should be good in here in a little bit. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, around 225 to, to uh, 75 pounds, you know, that sort of range. And we are completely out of ground meat, 100 and 10 pounds of ground meat, I think we had, completely out of it. Um, and that was my favorite part. Like, it was so, so enjoyable to cook up that grind and and just enjoy it. Oh, man, it is, like, so upsetting for it to be gone. But we're slowly working our way through the, um, through the, the you know, our steaks, our roasts, our cubes, um, you know, all of the, the chunk meat that I would refer to it as. And that is getting really upsetting. Just looking at our dwindling supply of meat as we, um, as we come closer to summer and, you know, get into kind of the, the middle of summer. And, um, we still, still got a couple months until elk season comes around again in September. So, I mean, right now it's, it's, um, it's knocking on July's front door, what is it, the, it's the 26th, I believe, today? Or no, 24th. This will be coming out the 25th. So uh, so what? what is that, July, August, a little over two and a half months, and I don't know if we're going to make it. It's going to be really, really close. Uh, we also do have some deer meat, though, which is good. We have a bunch of deer meat that needs ground up and thrown into um, – thrown like uh make like a grind pile like a hamburg type pile so that should hold us off i'm hoping i'm crossing my fingers we can make it um but man what a year it has been for cooking meat i feel like we have six like successfully really turned the page on becoming better chefs sammy and i both and and being able to prepare our own meat has kind of trained us to to do that um and it's it's very rewarding to learn how to cook food and learn how to um get really good at cooking food uh it, and i don't want to s- speak too highly about myself but i feel like we make some pretty good food at least for our taste buds um so that's always a good thing now the next thing I wanted to talk about was, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, so our last weekend, right? So last weekend, we went on a little camping trip. Uh, Sammy, my family, my sister, her boyfriend, Luke. Um, and, man, we had such a great time. We were out. Um, oh, look who it is. It's Sammy. She's out to watch me cook. Um and yeah, we just had such a great time. We were um, we got there Friday, uh, Friday night ish. Um, stayed Friday night, got up Saturday morning, and uh, went on a float trip. So float trip didn't go exactly as planned. We ran into some hiccups. But the biggest news I have about that float trip. Not the not the fact that we did it or anything, but we, um, Sammy and I brought along some GoPros, and I got this new 360 GoPro, and this thing's pretty awesome. So um, that leads me to my point, talking about what you guys can expect from me over the coming week and into the future. Um, so I think I'm gonna drop going to release my first long form video on YouTube. It's going to be all about our weekend, last weekend, camping, floating, and we took the dogs out on a little rafting trip. Um, 
we had some camper issues. Uh, <laughs> what else? What else happened? Um, uh, we just had a great time. Cooked food on the fire. Uh, had some steaks over the top of the you know open flame fire. It was, man, it was it was a good good trip, and I am excited to um, continue to bring the cameras along and, and keep sharing it with you guys. Um, but yeah, I, I'm super excited to drop the video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I just love like I just love capturing those sort of moments and and then being able to look back on it and um, I don't know like just watching the video and reliving the memories and stuff like that. It's really really cool. Um, but yeah, so that that's that's pretty pretty exciting. Now my last talking point. I know this is gonna be a short episode because I got the I gotta cook these stuff and I'm pretty hungry as well. I didn't eat dinner yet, but. My last talking point was the weekend prior to last, we went fishing, and I finally got this monkey off my back and caught some fish. Now, I was with my buddy Owen. He was guiding me, basically, because he just turned, um, or he just started working for Orvis as a, as a guide, actually. Uh, and he's teaching people how to fly fish and things like that. We went out to his house, um, and he took me to his home stretch of water and, and, uh, just kind of teaching me, uh, what they're biting on and things like that. Ended up catching like three fish, nice size fish, two browns and a rainbow. And man, it feels good to be fighting fish again. And, and we were fly fishing. So, um, you know, it, it makes it even more enjoyable now talking about fly fishing specifically and just fishing in general um yeah I, I see a lot of people nowadays getting more into fly fishing more into regular fishing and i think that's great because it's like it's one of those hobbies that you can make it as simple or as complex as you want to make it and you can enjoy it you can enjoy it very very thoroughly at whatever level you are um so, so it's just, it's just awesome to see. And I think that, you know, I, I'll, I'll talk more about as the summer progresses, talk more about the gear I use and things like that. But any, any tips or, you know, any, anything you want to say about fly fishing, leave it in the comments or, you know, we can talk about it and I can discuss it with, with people. I'm going to have Owen on the podcast here soon, and he's going to talk about his kind of guiding experience thus far. I know he just started, but, uh, he seems to really be enjoying it. So, so that's something that is always cool to gain perspective of guides and, and things like that. And, and, what how they break down stretches of water how they see things um and being able to talk to him and bring that to you guys to to convey his experiences and, and how he breaks down water is is a really good tool to have so that'll be a really really cool episode with him um but yeah that's kind of all i got I, sammy's waiting here to eat some steaks i think they should be about done here in five or so minutes um, so I'm going to log off. I know it's a short episode, very brief, but um, I hope you enjoyed it. And look for the new video this Thursday all about our camping trip last weekend. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to keep it wild.